What is up, Legends of Scion? We are back and we're rocking out with some Grand Alliance. All right, so now it's on global, and this is a really simple game, so I'm not gonna take too much of your time. Uh, this is actually still my same account, I'm literally almost in the same spot from the last video, but I wanted to come in and show you uh, what happened since then. Not much, but they streamline the game a lot and it crashes a whole lot less. Matter of fact, I haven't crashed at all since I've been messing around with it coming back. Um, so very first thing you guys always want to learn about summoning which we're going to do towards the end of the video But this game has something special that when you meet people As you guys can see as you meet people in the story They become available in a tavern for you to talk to so I met this dark-skinned waifu in the story And I was like snatch of course a thousand actually get them I spent many years in Kazamovan lands before returning to my home in the capital Thank you for your trust in me, though. I know it's okay. not deserved. Ah, uh, I'm totally parched after the day we've had. Now you can either use Wait, the top currency or the bottom perish. currency. You don't need both. Uh, you can choose you either back. or. So that's why I did. I spent the thousand to actually get her. She's actually really good. Super fun to use. Now as far as the heroes that you can use, you can see what you can get is right here. You can invite different people in. And eventually they will show up in there and you can actually recruit them if you have the currency to. You can also go with the normal scouting, which is technically, as you guys can see right here, technically like, um, I guess like the send away parties that you do and you see you're pretty much going to get currency and EXP for actually doing that. So I sent multiple ones out to do that. And then you have squad which allows you to look at your characters individually so we'll go to Valencia all right so you have skins down here at the bottom which I would love to see if she has any extra skins because that is a very thick dark skin rifle with the minute that I saw that I was like gimme all right here you have your exp and the way the exp works in this game you the exp tokens which you get through training dungeons and during training dungeons you get one or two tokens and the exp along with that so you have to make sure that you Put EXP where you feel that you're going to need it because it doesn't, they don't give you a lot of that in this game. You have to really earn it and use it properly. You have your tier up. Uh, you get that from basically using the, uh, the skill, not the skill dungeon, the class dungeons. The class dungeons will give you either or item. You guys can see right here. And it also costs the currency to actually do that, which you see I'm nowhere near having that. So, GG. Alright, so you have potential. Now potential is kind of like your skill grid and it'll allow you to put different passes out and you can actually reroll these passes if you want to. You look on the bottom right. If I want to reroll crit damage or crit chance, I can. Um, being that she's a tank, I probably am going to do that because damage is fine but she needs to live through stuff and this game is very good about doing damage to you. And then you have enhance to allow you to enhance your character. On the bottom right right here you see pretty much you have gear oh i got upgrade bring the gear in and they can put it on it's according to whatever class they are so pay attention to that and pay attention to the stats because sometimes stats don't exactly fit the character like you want to go for armor or maybe evasion or something like you see evasion right there and damage a blue upgrade i do and they be perfect so we're looking good right now. She has all green or blue. You have a three grid system right here, which allows you to actually use your characters and play. Missions is just the typical bit. achievement I'm stuff, and and also a teensy bit forgetful. And I get lost easily. Other than that, I'm really very reliable. Okay, don't talk anymore, Valencia. Just stand there, look cute. Alright, so you have your store, which allows you to have the summons. Your gems, the usual measure. They go, for, well, they didn't even do a dollar. They went $3, $5, $10, $30, $50, and $100. Let's you have your packs right here. Your skins, which I, I really wish that they had a Valencia, but they don't. And you see, you pretty much get this Rebel Amelia. 
after chapter 5, which is cool. They give you a free skin. Do resources and honor, which is PvP. Alright, so speaking of that, let's go in and fight somebody right now in PvP. Very per first person I see. Um, there we go. Quit. Uh, I guess this is fine. I'm probably going to take my mage out, Amelia, because I'm just going to take it out. Now, you also can set up skills, and the way that the skills work, um, you kind of want to pay attention to what you put each individual one and try to match the element. Um, now, for her, I don't think I did that. I wanted to dash, and the reason for that is because it stuns. And for him, yeah, we can do that because it was useful. And that, and Amelia, Amelia has some pretty good stuff. Let's try to give her something that doesn't put her in trouble see this puts her in trouble even though it's very good there we go both of them just came all in there Let's see, they have five characters out. I only put three, but we should be fine. It's also cool the fact that they can actually come in with five characters. This person has seven. Yeah, I don't have usable characters like that. I don't even have gear for that. Um, let's see here. I guess I can fight them like that. Equip you in there. And yeah, I really, I really don't have people like that. I guess I'm just going to have to put these people in and just let them die which is unfortunate we're just putting whatever on for right now hildegard was an actual oh, i don't even have anything for hildegard all right whatever um hildegard was a summon i got her in this i didn't mean that hildegard was uh, i got her as a summon so let's see how this goes. The first three should tank most of this anyway. And the stuns is coming in handy. I actually like the PvP in this game. I think I like the PvP more than the PvE. Alright, speaking of PvE, you have two modes. You pretty much have your normal PvE, and you have your Battlefront right here, which I don't have unlocked just yet, but the Battlefront is pretty much a survivor mode. It kind of works the same way that PvP works, but you just have to live at that point and do what you can to not standing shit because standing in shit in this game is hella bad we're gonna do one stage and then we're gonna summon and then i'll let you go about your day 
All right, so story works as follows. It's pretty much just uh, a JPEG, <laughs> and the characters are floating there in the background, a la Destiny Child style. All right, I see the combat is super simple, nothing crazy. It reminds me of a Super Nintendo game, very much. Um, I, I want to not stand and stuff, please. Now, you can actually control them and move them around as well. But if you don't know where to go, you can just let it auto do it. And then when it comes to stuff like that, you just move them out of the way of everything. All right, now the way the skills go is you can actually hold on the skill and kind of like highlight it and then it's going to come up and make a slow motion a little bit like how final fantasy remake works if you guys have ever played that i still wasn't fast enough and i knew that was coming are they dead already pretty much but that's how combat works you know it's, it's nothing too crazy um and there's going to be boards where you're not going to know where the the attacks are coming from and they're going to get you. And then once you learn the board and you realize that, okay, they're going to attack me here, they're going to attack me there. You start to know where you need to move your characters and it becomes easier and easier. So that's just the way combat works in this game. So let's summon and then, like I said, we'll, we'll to go about your day. Uh, we're gonna go after Lee's because I need a better mage and obviously she's a very nice thick waifu But I do need a better mage because the mage I have is a two-star Getting some good skills This sound is special. This is a special sound. I serve the princess and fight to honor the memory of all the comrades. I Damn it, she was a summon too. I think she was the first one. That sucks. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's the way it works. Um, I know some people don't like the fact that you put the skills and the characters in the, in the same banner, but there's not a lot of characters in this game, so I kind of get why they did that. And again, I don't get the mage. Like, I have trouble getting mages in this game. I'm getting all the actual characters that are banner characters, but I'm not getting any of the mages. So, hmm, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out something because I need a ranged character that's not a two-star. Anyway. I will catch you guys next video. Be legendary. Good luck to you. If you are playing this, we all know that it's like borrowed time. About five days to the hype. But this is something for you guys to do until then. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace and see you soon.